Lindsay Hockley getting jacked up. I believe this might be Ryder that's coming this up. This might be Ryder Ducek. We did an interview with him yesterday because he was killing it. Well, no, Isaac has spoken very highly of this young man and his dedication to learning and how quickly he learns and picks up tricks. There's a shove. shove right out of it. There you oh. go. He is killing it. I am just so happy watching Ryder. Maybe into the seven right There's here. a seven. There's a seven. That oh. boy is on fire. <laughs> Isaac Hockley and Kerry. There's Kerry another shove out. Crazy. Oh, Ryder. I, I'm going to say it. I'm pretty sure he is the junior world champion. Brothers Dagan and Ryder Ducek, it all started in 2011 behind a fishing boat on their dad's homemade board. He made this like piece of wood and there was like, he put some, glued some sand on it so it was kind of rough so he could stay still with a rope attached and he'd kind of just tow us around the lake. I like creating different things and uh, I've seen uh, training apparatus various kinds and I thought well I can just make one of those instead of buy it. I thought we were so cool just that we could do it like because I didn't know that other kids could like do this that too. Soon after the boys interest in wakeboarding began to grow. We saw this wakeboarder on the lake and it was Colton Thompson and he was doing flips it was like the craziest thing we've ever seen. He took us out one day and showed us what wakeboarding you can do like flips and stuff and that got us inspired into wakeboarding. After several successful seasons on the water ski and wakeboard Alberta circuit, Ryder would eventually add wake surfing to his resume with guidance from semi-pro Isaac Hockley. He started helping us out, telling me tricks to do, and I just started picking them up, and then he was like, whoa. So then started picking up more and more, and it was really cool to see how much progression I could make throughout the whole year. He's a prodigy, you know, it's, He's one of those kids that you can coach that as soon as you tell him one, once, he's got it. Every trick that it took me years to learn, he's learning in a week to two weeks. Ryder would light up the Canadian junior circuit in 2017, claiming provincial and national victories while punching his ticket to the world championship. He's composed and I think he's got that from competing in hockey so much, you know, and when the, the spotlight's on him, he doesn't stumble. That composure would serve him well on the biggest stage of his life at the World Wake Surfing Championship in Kelowna. The first day I didn't have that good of a run, I just kind of fell on everything, but somehow I managed to make it in my heat. And on day two, I had the run of my life in competition. I was running up and down the beach following him in that, that minute pass, and yeah, he every trick that we, we practiced and he worked on, he literally landed. It was an amazing thing, and everybody kind of knew that that was that was the winning run. Let's pump him up. He's he is cheering. Fired. He's got to be having a good time. Look at the smile on his face. As the 12 year old was officially crowned world junior champion, he struggled to comprehend what he had just accomplished. When I found out I had no words, I was like shocked. I was literally like, holy man, I won world championships. That's crazy. Not wanting to be left out, Dagan Ducek would join his older brother on the wake surfing circuit for the 2018 season. It wasn't that difficult getting up, just letting go of the rope was difficult for me. Getting him to let go of the rope was one thing, but as soon as he did, man, he took off. Dagan is really aggressive, likes big airs and big grabs and, and rides with a lot of emotion. It's really been cool to have Dagan with me. I think we just kind of feed off each other. We always try to like make each other a little mad. When they were younger, I think they felt a little jealousy or, you know, weren't sure how to handle that. Um, 
but now as they're older, they realize they need each other to, to get better and, and help each other. For the past three years, Paul Ducek has spent roughly 175 hours in the driver's seat of the family boat. Time, he says, is well spent. The amount of hours uh, that I've been able to have with them on the lake and, and go through the ups and downs, the frustrations, the tears of not getting certain tricks or getting hurt out on the water uh, to, you know, landing a trick for the first time, you knowing they've tried for two weeks and then they finally figured it out. Um, those are all pretty awesome uh, uh, touching moments for a dad. I saw it in the mirror, but <laughs> that was awesome. 2018 was another successful year for the brothers. They both qualified for the World Championship in Ogden, Utah. Dagan in the junior division, rider a level up as an amateur. For Dagan, it was his first taste of international competition. All the tricks that I added into my run, I practiced a lot. I kind of, when I was just laying in bed, I thought about what I would do, and then I came up with the run. It's very nerve-wracking if you fall. Say the first trick you do and you fall, like you'll get really nervous. If you don't and you have a really good ride the first pass, you'll probably be very excited. Despite the few falls, he would make it to the final, ultimately finishing second in a field of 10. My goal was to get second, and when I figured out I got second, I was really happy that I achieved that goal. As for Ryder, he would finish second in the amateur category and will join Hockley next season in the highly competitive Outlaw or semi-pro division. Hockley says he'll have his work cut out for him, but should do well. It's tough, you know, once you get to semi-pro, you're, you're competing against the, some of the best in the world and those guys compete all year round. He'll be there. He'll be, he'll be top three in the world next year for semi-pro. And the story, which began with a homemade board in 2011, will continue.